The honorable member for Calgary Fish Creek, followed by Barhead Bournville Westlock. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last fall, Albertans were saddened to hear of the uh, to hear of the death of Quanto, an Edmonton Police Service dog who was killed in the line of duty. At the time, the Minister of Justice stood with all Albertans and their outrage, saying police dogs are almost like another police officer. And for people who require service dogs because of hearing or sight issues, service dogs are an important part of their very well-being. The Minister pledged to strengthen the Service Dog Act to include penalties for those who harm or kill service animals. In fact, he said he'd like to have it for this spring session. So, Minister, when are you going to table it? Well, Mr. Speaker, I know that this member uses a service dog, and I welcome uh, her input in this particular area. I've had meetings with the uh, Canadian National Institute for the Blind and also the, pol the police. We want to ensure that we get this done right the first time. But more importantly, I'm also looking forward to what the federal government is doing, because the federal government mentioned uh, Quanto's law in its throne speech a couple of months ago, and uh, we will continue to work with our federal counterparts and see if we need to do anything provincially, depending on what the federal government decides to do on a national basis. Honourable Member. Thank you. Minister, you used the excuse for not proclaiming my mandatory reporting a child pornography bill, and you then blamed the feds, and it's four years later. Given that Saskatchewan has provincial penalties for those who commit violence against service animals, when will you bring the same protection for service dogs to Alberta? I wish, to remind this, I wish to remind this member that had we proclaimed her bill, there would be less protection for children in this province. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given her mandate to champion efforts to protect Albertans from issues of family violence and sexual exploitation, will the Associate Minister of Family and Community Safety, who I know loves children, commit to ensuring the mandatory reporting of Child Pornography Act is proclaimed into law? Honourable Associate Minister. Member for her question, and I would also like to thank the member for her service in this area and her input in the last little while. These are areas that I would, uh, that I'm proud to say that we are fully committed to. We've held two roundtables in the past six months on uh, child sexual abuse. We are committed to uh, uh, putting together a sexual <coughs> violence framework. I have asked for the member's input on that that topic and all those topics will be a part of our sexual violence framework. I welcome the conversation that we will have in the near future.